The Gina and Maddie podcast. Look, we are going to talk about news resolutions right now because today, yes. the Wednesday, the seventeenth of January, correct? <laughs> yes, Maddie, uh, is National. Ditch your New Year's resolutions oh, day. That's, that's what, what today, today is. It's official. Well, there's a day for everything. There now. really there, is. There, there, there. Today is the National Ditch Your Resol- New Year's Resolution Day because you by the 17th of Jan, you've given up. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing, and it's very hard to stick to. I think you've got to not go too hard. But every year, everyone goes, all right, I'm going to be fit. Mm. I'm mm-hmm. going to eat healthy. Yeah. I'm going to walk more or mm. start exercising more. Gym owners just rub their hands together. <laughs> yeah. like they, yeah. first week, they go, ching. Yeah. 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 They get you in to sign up. Yeah. So, yeah. that. And, but I think they can be too hard to stick to sometimes. Did you make any? Not, no, but one of my girlfriends came up with this brilliant thing that I, I love it. It's rather than a New Year's resolution, a word for the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she – and I, I really like this because it's much easier to stick to. Yeah. So she had – last year she was tolerance – was her word. Okay. For the so year. she ran that through the filter. I'm going to be more tolerant this year. For the whole year. And yeah, then this year that. is simplicity. They want to live a simpler life, which I love, 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 love that. And for me, I got thinking about it. You, my word is always gratitude. I always think, you, you know, if you mm. can just be thankful for what you've already got, you can, you know, be a lot happier. Yeah. But I was also thinking acceptance. Oh, would I be like a, that. Just accept how things are. You can't change people. You can't change. You can just accept and, you know, be happy. Yeah, move forward. Mm. I like that because I, I, New Year's resolutions for me, I don't really do them. I, I sort of go into the new year every year going, I've eaten so much ham, yeah. I've drunk so much, <laughs> yes. I'm just going to pull back a bit. But that's yes. just kind of not yeah. really a resolution. That's just like, slow down fatty. Right? Yeah. That's pretty much what that is. Just, you need to have a break. But I do like the word to live yeah. by. Do you, have you got a word that you I might do. live by, Producer Loz? I've gone auspicious. Oh, which okay. is, I know, it's a good, you look at it like, not suspicious. what is that? Suspicious would All be suspicious. weird. <laughs> it's like um, positive things are going to happen, like lucky, like oh, putting that, that out. I think that's that's me for this year. I, Gina knows, but it's like last six months were a little bit rocky yeah. in, in my life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I love auspicious. Yeah. I had a bit and of a I love corker. that we all know a new word now. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I've learned yeah. something today. So, Welcome to Loz's TED Thank talk. you so much. Thank you. Um, I love a big word. You'll learn <laughs> She's very impressed with big words, uh, man. If you throw a, a random little one yeah. in there, I'll be like, <laughs> well done. I'll try. You know what I'll do? I'll try and slip one in tomorrow Please show do. and see if you notice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with patience. As mine oh. for this year, I think being being a dad of three kids under nine, uh, th- that can go very quickly. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll with patience. I'm gonna write it down. I might put it up on the fridge. I reckon and it's Look great. at it every morning Me and go too. patience. I love it. Okay. Oh, yes. You can do this as well at home. So think of a word, write it down, and live by it. I think yeah. That's a good one for I the think year. it's a really good one. Gina and Maddie. Seventeenth of January is my son Jackie's twenty first birthday. Our son Rod and I made him. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say Rod's my. Uh, producer of both my music and my children. Um, <laughs> he's a record producer, as we know. So, Jackie, well, you know, when you got kids, and we were talking about this yesterday, Maddie, well, you know, one of the, the the biggest achievements, I think, is getting your child grown up and they're nice. They're, yeah. they're nice people. That's, That's all, all I care. Want. That's all you want, isn't it? I don't it? care really what, what he did for a living. Yeah. I, didn't, I never really cared how he went in school. I just used to say to him when he was little, all I care about, mate, is that you're kind. That's all that matters, you know, and, and he's turned out to be a really nice, beautiful human. That's so. mumming done right right there. I know? think so. Uh, I think uh, so. Yeah. He even brought the washing in when it was raining the other day. That was a oh, first. Wow. And I did say to him on the two days before he turned 21, I said, do you realise when you turn 21, all of a sudden, Sudden, you start helping around the house more. It's this like grown up thing where you realise, oh, maybe I should buy some groceries and make my bed. But he's he's a good, he's a really good boy. I I have this thing, and I have read it once before, and I have to do it again. But this is just so true for me to read this, and for anyone out there with a mum, with a mum who's a mum with a with a uh, son. Son, I closed my eyes for but a moment, and suddenly a man stood where a boy used to be. I may not carry you now in my arms, but I will always carry you in my heart. You have given me so many reasons to be proud of the man you have become. But the proudest moment for me is telling others that you are my son. I love you now and forever, Jackie. Oh, I'm about to talk after that. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. I know. And that is the thing, you know, they – 
I, there's just such a pride and Jackie tours with me, you know, he plays in my band when I'm touring and, and I spend most of the time watching him. I'm on the stage but my eyes are over on my son and I'm just so proud, you know, to say that he's that he's mine and, and that isn't that a, a great achievement as, as a parent? Absolutely. The, you know, the, the love that you feel and, yeah, Jackie will not be listening right now but if you were, Jackie, happy birthday and we're so, so proud of the man you have become. That is beautiful, That's Gina. So nice. and, and I think it's a credit to both you and your husband, Rod, as well. Mainly like, me. But Mate, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I had to throw him in there just in case he was listening. Uh, yeah, no, this he's new a guy, good... not including me. <laughs> he's a good dad. But we we had a fabulous party on Friday night. We had to do it on Friday because Jackie, as a musician, is heading off to the Tamworth Country Music Festival. When does that start? That starts this weekend. Well, right. So he's up there for the whole week playing with lots and lots of beautiful artists, including, including Courtney Kyle, who works here. Yeah. She's a lovely country singer. So, But we had his party last Friday. Oh, was it a party? Now, I did mention this already. I went and saw all of our neighbors. Neighbors, and I said, look, we are having a party. It's Jackie's 21st. We will be noisy. I didn't say oh, we're going to try and be quiet. And they were all so lovely. They were like, oh, you only turned 21 once. Be loud. And we were. We had we had beer pong downstairs. Right. We had mum, my mum and dad came. Beautiful ham. We cooked a ham. Yeah. My best friend's husband cooked a hot we, ham we out cooked. the back. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was it was the best. But what I want to know is I'm I'm curious what you guys did for your 21st. Mine was pretty exciting. I'm busting to tell you what I did. Mine's a little while ago. Loz, what did you do for yours? Can you remember? Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can. It was only nine years ago. Um, I didn't I- mean to say that. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> if you can think back that far, um, I had it with my um, one of my best friends, Beck. We're about three weeks apart. Yeah. Um, so we had a conjoined one um, at a venue in Newcastle, <laughs> or just a joint just party. Just a joint party. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. too. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and yeah, we invited all of our friends. We put on. It was. I felt very grown up because we put money behind the bar, and I paid oh, for it, and I she paid it. for her half, and did it. And I felt very mature, being like. $2,000 on the bar, please. Did, uh, <laughs> did you uh, have a theme? I, yes, of course. I, oh, I wonder if you can guess it. I dare you to try and guess it. Oh, f- f- princesses? No, <laughs> not far off though. Oh, Pink. um, very close. Oh, not the artist, the colour. No, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, 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 no, I can't. Sparkles. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I can't believe I guessed that. So was, everyone, men and Everyone and, and had women. to wear sparkles. Oh, I at love least that. some form of it. So I was like literally the glitziest thing you've ever seen. Oh, I love that It was theme. so much fun. Oh, it's funny because that was the same theme as mine. Yeah. So you've ruined my story. <laughs> uh, Coasties, we want to hear from you. Maybe you've got a 21st story for us. Maybe it's a good story. Maybe it's a 21st party story that's gone bad. We, oh. If you've got a story that you want to share with us, we'd love to hear and uh, I might even share uh, something quite tragic about me and my <laughs> 21st when we come back. But we'd love to hear your stories. Now, it's a big day for you today. Yes, Jenna my Jeffries. son Jackie's 21st. And we're talking about birthday parties and, and what we did. And Loz has just said she had a sparkle theme, which I liked a lot. Of course. My theme was a G party. Now, there's lots of things that start with G. Yeah, I would probably struggle to find the G party uh, when I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> so, so all the things. My best friend came. I'm flying past that. My best friend came as a genie. Great. One of my other best friends came as a geisha girl, and her husband came as Ga- not husband boyfriend Gandhi. Yep. Someone came as God, and but my favourite of all was my brother's best friend came as a bunch of grapes. So, oh, so he had that's what a, I would do. He had a black le- <laughs> like a black leotard, black skivvy, black. Um, tight, tight, you know, leotard pants, yeah. whatever you call them, um, stretchy pants. And then he got someone to just pin on him purple balloons. Love so that. he was just covered in purple balloons. It was the funnest party. It was by the really... end of the night, he was probably uh... a Shiraz by the end yeah. of it. <laughs> uh, Ari is on the phone uh, in Gosford. Hi, Ari. Hey, how you going? We're good. Talk to us about your 21st. Was it yours? Yeah, so I actually, uh, my birthday was in November, but I, like, when... I was 21, um, but I held out until January and I had my party at the Country Music Festival in Tamworth. Did you? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Was it like really recently? <laughs> no, no, it was like six years ago. Now it feels like eternity ago. Oh, what was a there cool a particular thing. act you wanted to see? That's why you held out for it, or you just wanted to um, have it at the festival? Well, yeah, but I had my first gig um, for my 21st, so that was pretty cool. I wanted to make it really special, oh, so I had so my you... first little gig. It was tiny, but and you're a country singer. Really are you a country singer, Ari? Yeah. Oh, Soul Sisters. Soul Sisters. <laughs> are you going to Tamworth this year? 
No, I've got two little ones and I just, I don't think it's, the heat will be a bit much. Gaz, get a bit hot. A bit older. Oh, they'll, well, they'll I, I have to. I have to hear you sing. Send me something. I've actually been to your workshop. <laughs> oh, that's sad, Ari. Hello. <laughs> it's hard to tell because I can't see you. Oh <laughs> uh, well, well, thanks for sharing, Ari. No, that's okay. Thank you so much for having me. No worries. Let's go to Faith. Hello, Faith. Hi. How you going? We're great. Talk to us. Twenty first birthdays. Um. So I hired out a venue on the Central Coast um, and I had my 21st there, family and friends, and I got really, really drunk really quick. <laughs> and I actually drank from behind the bar in out of a beer tap and got kicked out of my own 21st. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you know you've done well when you're kicked out of your own 21st. Oh. Let's go one more. Hi, Jen. Hi, morning. How are you? We're great, mate. Talk to us. What about your 21st? Was it you? It was me, yes. Well, I was in hospital um, for my 21st, but not for a bad reason. I had a baby three days before. Oh, oh what a present. What a, that's the best present. That beats it a yard glass. the best glass. present ever. So my baby will be 21 next year. Oh, <laughs> how beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so it was yeah the best present ever. But my girlfriends came and brought me a cake, and uh, the nurses were lovely at the hospital. And yeah, Aww. it was it was the best present ever. I <laughs> love that, Jen. <laughs> the Gina and Maddie podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.